to grow a little tea. I look rough, so don't mind it. But today we are going to pick up Boo Boo's gift. He's opening the garage, so I'll wait. But we're going to pick up his birthday gift because, yeah, he's getting an early birthday gift. That's one of his gifts. Is it by the door? Don't know what that is. We'll probably find out soon. We'll be back in a second. So, funny thing about this is he doesn't know where we're going. And he's going to be blindfolded. How do you feel about that? Yeah, we'll see. He's still asleep. He should be a lot more excited. Like, if you were getting an early birthday gift, don't you think you'd be a lot more excited than he is? See, people, they don't know how to act. You be trying to surprise them, they don't know how to act. But anyways, I'm going to drive because I'm not going to be recording and driving at the same time. But I will see you in a minute. Finally at the place. <laughs> I think he's going to be super excited. Let's look at his face. You excited? I'm excited. Are you sure? Yeah. You're just saying that? No, I'm excited to see a smile on my face. Okay, we'll see how excited he is. Alright, you can take off your blindfold. Look out the window. To the left. Oh, I gotta adjust my eyes. Hold on. It's your favorite store. Home Depot? Yeah. <laughs> I love Home Depot, yeah. Are you sure you love Home Depot? You told me you wanted to come get plants, so I figured we would just come get them this morning. I mean, it's not really a birthday gift, but... I mean, yeah, we could do that. That works. I can put them in the backyard. That would be a perfect day to put them in. I'm just kidding. Home Depot's not your gift. Put your blindfold back on. Really? You really fell for that? I was like, what? You were actually going to go along with it. I'm actually impressed. No, that's not the gift place. Like, so if you want to take your blindfold off, you can look to the right. Oh, PetSmart. I love PetSmart. That's actually my favorite store. So, you got to put the blindfold back on for a second. I'm going to go inside and see where it's at. And, yeah. You probably already know. So why, why do I put the blindfold on when you go inside? Because I'm going to come back and get you so you can see what it is. Oh. You probably already know what it is. Well, you said I need my ID. Yeah, because you're the person that it belongs to, so they need to check your ID. Confession. Like, we low-key went to the wrong spot the first time, and it's actually this store. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. This is the actual store. But I'm making him keep his blindfold on. We're going to try this again. I'm going to go in the store and see if they have it out, and then let him see what it looks like. So it'll be just one second. So we're going in the store now. He's not. He's getting frustrated, so we got to hurry up and get him. I don't know why you can't even walk in the store. Hmm? Really? I better get wife of the year award for this shit. He, like, everything I had to deal with just to get him to the store, the attitude leading up to the store. Do you have to be blindfolded walking in the store? Yes, you do. Because it's only going to be like two seconds once you walk in the door. The what? Two seconds once you walk in the door. Okay. Really? <clears throat> Okay, okay. Come on. This is what I got him, guys. He don't. He don't need it. Hmm? Alright, let's see. Take your blindfold off. Look to your left. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. <laughs> awesome. You gotta leave your mask on. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah. How you feel? Oh, thanks, dude. You've been asking for this for a while, so. Yeah, true. Now, after everything, what do you got to say now? Thanks, dear. Just rude. This is not the actual birthday surprise. He has more stuff coming, so we'll probably record it as he gets more things. But appreciate y'all on this little journey. We will keep you guys included. It's to resume on Tuesday. So, yeah, you guys have a happy Saturday, and we'll be back. What up, FOC crew? It's your girl, LaToya. It's not much, but this is Boo Boo's birthday surprise. And I got dinner. It's in the background. And we got some dinner. Hopefully, he'll be here soon and we can continue to record. 
Love y'all. I'm out. Here's the fish tank. I know you guys should have saw this already. But yeah. Don't mind the stuff in the background. We are consolidating and we've been trying to get stuff in water. Yeah, just ignore that stuff in the background. And that Amazon package by the door. Yay, yay. So, hopefully he'll put this thing together in the next couple days and you guys can actually see what it looks like, maybe? His lids should be here Thursday. I just ordered them today. So, yeah. See y'all in a few minutes when Boo Boo Bear gets here. Happy birthday, Boo Boo Bear. <laughs> well, thank you. You hungry? I'm always hungry. So this is the birthday food. This is Babe's. I got chicken fried steak, there's some corn, mashed potatoes, green beans, and biscuits. Their food is the truth. And my wife got some chicken strips, same sides. And then she's drinking tea, <laughs> and then I'm drinking water. Yeah, it's recording now. So y'all get to enjoy this wonderful feast with us. I actually uh, deprived myself because this is a lot of food if you saw him recording, but I'm finna go in. I'm oh. going in. Now it would have been a million times better if we could have gone there to eat. But you know, since the Rona wanna be outside, can we going out there. And they close before I get off work. We ain't built for that. But this is like, we haven't had, neither one of us have had birthdays. My birthday was in April. And I mean, basically it was in the height of things. So it was like, we really didn't go anywhere. We really didn't go anywhere. And then our anniversary, it was like when stuff first started in March. So, I mean, we probably could have gone out, but it was just like, should you really be going out when you don't have enough information about what's going on? So that was that. And it's probably worse now than it was for our anniversary and our birthday. Cause we, for our birthday or our anniversary, we planned to rent like a, like a luxury car and go eat in downtown Dallas or something. But that, but we canceled that and just ended up sitting on couches staring at each other. We didn't just sit at each other. Well, I mean, I know. We but. had water burger. That's that's, that's <laughs> straight up romantic water burger. Yeah. I don't know. I think everybody's plans has been kinked this year. What you thought you were gonna be doing. I mean, it may or may not be happening, but for the most part, it's not. This well, is the new reality for the foreseeable future. Well, it was funny when her birthday was in, in April. She's like, "You're gonna be really upset if some if your birthday gets canceled." I'm like, "No, it's not." Now look at us. Oh, I was just talking to my mom, <laughs> and my mom was like, "Bunka's birthday, Bunka's birthday is coming up," and I'm like, "Bunka ain't gonna have no birthday like everybody else." I don't think anybody for the foreseeable future is gonna have like a real birthday because I feel like her birthday is in September, and that's like when everything starts popping off. And that's when schools will be open, so there might be more cases. So, yeah. So, I mean, if you're doing stuff with your family, I guess that's cool. But, I mean, that's not always 100% safe. We don't really have any immediate family in the area. So, it's always, for the most part, just me and him celebrating or we go out. I mean, it's not what we would like to do. But, hey, you do what you do with what you got, right? But she's a homebody anyway, so that's not going out. She's like, oh, this is what I do on a normal basis anyway. Basically, because I've been out like eight <laughs> times since COVID started. Has it been that many? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's gone up because I had to go get all this stuff for his birthday, but mm -mm. no sir, no ma'am. I need a knife. So we're going to finish this up. We're going to talk y'all to death right now, but we will be back. I'm going to get ready to open the gifts. Probably share a little bit of what the cake looks like. We should have got a little glimmer of it, but, you know, we're going to do our little dessert thing and call it a night. But we'll be back with y'all shortly. You filming? Yep. So this is a gift from my parents. I don't know what it is. It's kind of heavy. 
so. Oh, it's a box inside the box. All those little wheel ramps I was talking about. Or wheel chunks. So like when I do like fix brakes and stuff, put it underneath the tires. That would actually come in really handy. Huh? Move the boxes. And then there's this big one he's about to open. I could probably guess if they like coordinated us what that might be, but I don't know. Make sure you don't put our address on there. Another box inside of a box? <laughs> yeah. stops for like <laughs> so when I do stuff on the car the little wheel ramps so I can get underneath the car am I gonna let you get under the car that's the other question <laughs> we can open these cards you want me to read them yeah you can read them <clears throat> For my husband with love, today I'm celebrating the life of my favorite person in the whole world. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, how good you are. Your love for us continues on forever. Psalm 106.1. <clears throat> I don't know what's in my throat. The Lord created a wonderful expression of his goodness in you. You're an amazing gift of friendship, laughter, strength, and love. What a blessing it is to share life with you. Happy birthday. Love you mucho. LT. <clears throat> I'm just clumsy today. Clumsy today or clumsy every day? Today. Every day? <laughs> no, today. Yes. Remember when you used to hold your farts in? I missed that. I guess you that I guess you did that to impress me. Now that you got me, you're not as considerate. P.S. I hate writing in print. You could have wrote in cursive. Let me get this card off the floor. You act like you don't what's wrong with writing in print? You got hand you got good handwriting. Mm, I don't know about all that. You don't think so? <clears throat> Four out of five people get money in their birthday cards. Happy birthday number five. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah, going after all, giving you money is equivalent of giving it to myself. True, that's facts. I don't know if I want to read this one. This is the front of the card, I don't know if you ever see that, but it says, <clears throat> with age comes wisdom and saggy balls. Just figured I would let you come to terms with reality. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Look, I came through with the cards and the clutch. I was like, I wanted to, I almost <laughs> didn't get a real, cause you know we do funny, like you, your parents do funny and a, a, a serious one, but I was like, you about to just get some funny ass cards. <laughs> Yeah. So this is a gift from, from LT. Well, it's a dash camera. What's funny is we actually been talking about getting one of these because people around here drive crazy and then we can put this stuff on the internet to see so people can see all this nonsense people be doing <laughs> when, when we be driving. Oh, thanks dear. That's pretty cool. So I guess this is everything that goes with it. That's awesome. <clears throat> and then this one.
I don't know if y'all can see that. It's an earwax wind, ear, earwax candle kit. <laughs> Should be pretty interesting. Does it really make a candle? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. I guess when I make the candle, I can show it to you guys. <laughs> Are you gonna open it? Oh. Oh my god, so I gotta open it, open it. Now read the inside, read the flaps. Don't get too excited, your real gift is inside. I was like, really? Happy birthday. I don't know if y'all can read that. So happy birthday, I love the poop emoji out of you. That was probably the best way to say that. Common questions for, for common, uncommon questions for fresh conversations, couples. I guess we can, might be able to do this on our channel. And then true facts that sound like BS. Huh, this is my right up my alley. <laughs> Interesting. And then the intelligent investor, the definitive book on value investing. This is actually a pretty good book since we talk about investing a lot. This would probably be a pretty good read. And he has some stuff in the back. It's up to him if he wants to show this part and cut it off the video. Some more boxers. We can never have too many pairs of boxers. Some shorts. <laughs> And then some more shorts. And you probably should open it so you can figure out what it is. So. Since Corona, that's one of those things that you put you can around. You can wear around your face. Yeah, versus you just having the mask on. Oh, nice. I don't know how to wear it. You might have to pull it over your head. I don't know how you put it on. Oh yeah, I think so. You just pull it over your head. If it'll fit over my head. That's a good point. You do have a big head. See? Yep. Just like that. Yep. Nice. So you can have that or you can use your mask or whatever if you just run into the store or whatever. Yeah, true. That'll work. That'd probably be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's all my gifts. So we lied. I guess there were some more gifts in the mailbox. He's gonna open really quick. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. Gift card. Happy birthday, we love you, miss you, love you, the Green family. Which happens to be my sister and her husband and my daughter. And, oh, and then there's a card from my grandma. <coughs> I don't know what's in my throat. Corona? No. I don't know what you do when you're not here, so you could be out there sucking in Corona fibers. <laughs> It's your day. Dear Chris, whatever else you're doing on this very special day, just make sure you take time out to relax, celebrate. Happy birthday, love grandma. P.S. Sorry, this card is late. Had a bad week. It's actually not late, it's actually on time. So I'll call grandma tomorrow and thank her for the card. And as, as always, get this cash. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think so either. But you got enough this year. You tapped out till Christmas. Okay? Okay? I guess you just ignore me. Tapped out till Christmas? That's not that far away. I'm good. I should be good. You should be good. I have my face to keep me entertained. I told them once you set up the fish tank, then I'll record it so they can see what you look like. What it looks like. Oh yeah, true. 
It'll be nice. It'll be a showpiece now. It'll help me consolidate from six down to three. So I need, I mean, I can't show you guys right now. I'll have to see if I can get a clip where we can insert it. Uh, you don't know how many tanks he actually has because, and uh, my mom asked me why I actually bought him a fish tank. Uh, I really don't know why I bought him a fish tank actually because he has, we counted nine tanks right now. He physically has six set up. He's going to, in air quotes, consolidate. So we will see how this consolidation goes or if it ends up that we just have some huge tanks all over the place. We really got no more room to put them. So if we had room, you'd try to find some place to put them? Possibly. My mom's like, you created a monster. I'm like, look, he claimed that if he got a 75 gallon, he would consolidate. So we gonna see. Yeah, I should, I should be able to. I mean, yeah. I can combine two tanks into one. Then she had the nerve to say, oh, I should buy him some fish. I said, no. You said you were going to buy some I, fish too. I told her the story. I said, I said I was going to buy some fish. And she was like, I was like, and he was like, no, because he has too many fish already. And they have babies, blah, blah. Because I was going to get you some really nice fish. But, but before I decided to get the fish tank. But since you said he was going to consolidate, then I'm like, hey, okay, we'll see. Yeah, I got, have more babies. I ain't got no more room. Light his birthday cake on fire. Look, he looked kind of like a pyromaniac. Hopefully our smoke detector down below. Oh, There's only like we got my barbecue lighter, so it's what we work with. You're gonna move faster while you act like you need to hold the flame there for five hours. New candles don't light that well. You know this. Yeah, they do. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, boo boo. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, Krispy Kreme. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, you that old? You can't get the candles to go? They're two Hang candles, on. yo. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. A little hot. Really? Yeah. I know how else I'm supposed to get them out. Blow harder. You don't work like that. See? You need to blow it and then grab it and stick it in the water or something. Let me get a cup of water. You like them. You like my tricks, don't you? I knew they were trick candles when they sparked up like that. I was like, oh, they're trick candles. Well, nobody told you to stick your fingers on it. Well, last time you know we put them out. Something is wrong with you, low key. Why? Who sticks their fingers on candles? Like you some damn magician or something. That's why I licked them. Ow. We built a catch on fire, y'all. No. No, we're not. Don't you worry. Burn quick. Don't worry. We got good life insurance over here. <laughs> How petty. Yeah, you are. Don't be mad because you didn't have all these ideas when it was my birthday. You just did, you know, what guys do. Well, I thought I did the bare minimum. You do what you do. You wasn't going all out with balloons. That ain't you. I got you balloons, didn't I? No. Yeah. You was the gift, along with the LeBron James shoes. And what else did I get? I got a jersey. I got the Lakers jersey. Yeah. So I guess we can cut it in the cake now see what it looks like. All right, well, we're going to sign this out. Hold on, FOC crew. You want to cut it or you want me to cut it? We weren't formal in telling you guys if you should uh, like, comment, and subscribe. But uh, we're going to do vlogs every now and then. We might pop up with a video. Just make sure I think I burned my thumb. if you like, comment, and subscribe. 
push those post notifications so you know when we're dropping new content. Please don't forget to wish Christopher a happy birthday, Mr. Krispy Kreme himself, Mr. I'm Invincible, and now his fingers are burnt, so now I gotta find some Neosporin. We appreciate y'all, and we out. Later.